What's going on, everybody? It's your man, Lyndon Britt from successwithlyndon.com, also the founder of Homeware Marketing, where we cover all bases of your business. And today, I'm going to be covering seven things that leaders do to educate themselves, all right? Seven things that leaders do to educate themselves. So, if you consider yourself a leader, you're going to find yourself doing one of these seven things on a regular, consistent, daily basis, all right? So, if you are trying to become a better leader, then guess what? You definitely want to implement one of these seven things to be able to help you become a better leader or to transform yourself into one, all right? So always be learning. ABL is what they always say in this industry. Always be learning, all right? So once again, this is Lyndon Britt from successwithlyndon.com. Be sure after this is over, you head over and over there to the blog to, the, uh, to the blog to check out some more content. But if this is your first time on the live, type first time or type the number one in the comments so I know it's your first time and I've got a free gift for you just to say thank you for tuning in. All right. So one thing I always ask the folks that are returning, hit the share button, share this out to your team, your organization. Once again, as I spoke of yesterday, if you're working in a business and you're growing the team or an organization, the one thing you want to do is teach them to become leaders. Uh, it's just like I described, made a description of no parent uh, raises a child to remain a child. They remain, they, they raise that child to become an adult and go live their own life it's the same thing you want to do in your business you want to develop leaders so <clears throat> share this out with your team help them become better leaders instruct them on how they can do uh, what they can do to advance in their business further all right and this is going to be a couple of things i'm going to share with you to be able to help them do exactly that so share this out tap the share button uh once again if it's your first time you say i'm not sharing this with my team or sharing this on my page unless i know what kind of content you bring great fair if you get some value though once again it says, let's make a deal. If you get some value from this, you actually take something away from this, hit that share button, tag somebody in it, take the, take the link and share it with, give it to somebody mm -hmm. else and tell them to check it out. Deal? Deal? All right. So let's rock and roll. We're going to roll into seven things that entrepreneurs uh, or leaders do to educate themselves. All right. Number one, they listen to lectures. They attend lectures. Now, as boring as that may be, when I say lectures, a lot of people, the first thing they thought about was going to college, attending college. What is it like to actually sit in, uh, sit in a class and listen to a lecture and you sit there and you, you're dozing off trying to get understanding? But guess what? Believe it or not, instructors and leaders, um, they have something in common. They love learning. People that instruct also love learning, reason being because they have the opportunity to be able to teach it. So leaders love actually learning things. So they will sit through lectures with a pen and a paper in order to learn something new to be able to take to their organization, take to their team, take to their downline, or to be able to teach to someone else. Leaders attend lectures, all right? Number two, number two, I'm not going to spend too much time. I'm, I'm going to briefly describe each one or, or let you know what they are and then move on to the next. Number two, they're always reading something. You will always find a leader reading content of some sort. I don't care if it's a John C. Maxwell book, if it's a, a perhaps another uh, um, dominating uh, marketer or uh, leader in whatever, uh, uh, self-help. Uh, personal development, whatever, you're going to always find them reading something, okay, always, they, they've got audible, whether they whether they listening to it, which is the next thing leads into the other, they, they're listening to audios, and they're uh, watching visuals, you know, uh, either attending webinars, or they got the audio, you've got the audio books that you can listen to as you move around, or you sit with a hard copy um, book, and you read, you're always going to find them learning do audios or reading. You're always going to t uh, find them taking in information, once again, that they can share. You will find no leader in this industry, no leader in this profession that takes, gathers all this information in just to have it, not to share it. Okay? Understand the key to what I'm telling you is not only absorbing, but it's also putting that information right back out there. All right? So you got lecture, you've got reading, and you've got audios. Those are those are three already. Your fourth one is actually demonstrations. They take people and, and demonstrate. That's how you come up with testimonials from a lot of people. You demonstrate with somebody, let them know, uh, hey, let, let's try this. Let's do this. We're going to demonstrate this. I'm going to show you a couple of things, how this works, how that works. And you're going to show people. If you've got a team in order, Organization. Perhaps you have a private training where you're holding a demonstration on how to implement something, how to uh, how to to add something to a blog. You're demonstrating them how something works. You're demonstrating to them something that you may have learned, something that you may have taken away from it. All right, you're always going to find them doing demonstrations. All right, another thing they also have, which is one I kind of just tossed in there, was group discussions. 
All right, you've got group discussions, which means they're going to have a couple of people in one specific area, whether you have a private group, you have a mastermind, whatever it may be, where the brains come together, and you're going to find them having a discussion. Why Why is it important to have discussions with other people, whether it's your team or anything else? You help them get an understanding of what it is they may be having a problem with that you may have a solution with. Matter of fact, you also get an opportunity to be able to find out different views of how people view things, Okay. It, you you really you get an understanding of how things are viewed when you have discussions with your team or your organization. So it's very important to be able to have those. All right. So that's five right there. You've got lectures. These are one. These are ways that once again leaders educate themselves. You've got lectures. You've got reading. You've got audios. They've got demonstrations. And you also got group discussions. All right. A sixth one is practice. A lot of people feel it's so unnecessary to practice. You feel it's so unnecessary. Be like, okay, well, I, I studied this training. I studied on how to prospect when I'm when I'm making my phone calls. I, I studied on what to say. I studied these scripts on how to do this. But if you study and study and you never actually practice having that conversation, even when you get on the phone, it's difficult to say those words that you've been practicing. I mean, that you've been taking in so many times. So it's great to have somebody in that group discussion, perhaps, where you're actually practicing making that phone call. You're actually practicing writing in that blog, what you you actually practicing how you're going to interact with your with your list as you begin to get better with writing your emails or your copy on your uh, capture page or something like that. Okay, these are these are ways that leaders educate themselves to be able to learn how to master the skills that they have. To, that's how they generate the income that they do because they practice the things. They actually educate themselves on what needs to be done in order to master a particular thing. All right, so there's your sixth one right there. And finally, I've said this over and over and over, and a lot of people don't feel this as a way to educate themselves, but it is teaching others. You've heard me say it all throughout this series from everything I just said from the time I said lecture, reading, audios, demonstration, group discussions, mm -hmm. and the practice. The one way they really educate themselves is they teach others. Because like they say, you don't really know something until you can teach it. You don't really know something until you can teach. You can attain all the knowledge that you can, but when you have to teach it, that means you really have to break it down in, uh, in, a, in a way that someone else can understand it, which means you really understand it. So those are seven ways that leaders educate themselves right there. You've got lectures, reading, audios or visuals. You've got group discussions. You've got demonstrations. You've got practice, and they go out and they teach others. All right? I told you I was going to give you a short one to get right to the point about it. If you got some value from this thing, give me a few thumbs up. Give me a few smiles. Mm -hmm. Like the like the post. Like the post. It's okay to like the post and share this with your team or your organization because these are things that they need to begin to implementing, want implementing in their business because once again, like I said, consider your organization as you being a parent. You're not raising a child to remain a child. You're raising a child to become an adult to take care of their own. You're doing the same thing with your business. You want to be able to raise leaders so they can go out on their own and they can develop leaders as well. Because what does that do for your organization? And what kind of social proof does that give to you as a leader? Wow. All right. Just want you to think a little bit. All right. Once again, if you got some value from this, like, comment, share this out, tag your team in it so they can see these seven different things that leaders do to educate themselves. And if you got some value, once again, make sure you head over mm -hmm. to successwithlinden.com where you can find more content, free training, free information, be able to help uh, yourself or your team or your organization grow their business as well and expand. Once again, Lyndon Britt, hashtag the accountability guy, bring you some more stuff that you could do to implement and get better results in your business. Appreciate y'all hopping on here. If you got something that you like from the cousin, go in details about, tag me. Put me, put it in, drop it in the comments like, hey, can you actually explain this or break this down? I'd be glad to do it. All right, y'all have a blessed and wonderful, wonderful day. Appreciate y'all hopping in here, and I will see y'all over at successwithlyndon.com. All right.